Peace be the journey. Here again, I'm just going to show you a bit of preparation we've got for the land. Um, I built an outside kitchen. Uh, nice magnolia tree there. Um, it's made of branches and some old roofing sheets. You can see that they're interlocking um, where they can. And uh, these these four what, four what, end ones are really hefty. They were quite hard to put up on my own. And then whenever there's a bit of a fork in it, I fit another one inside, which works quite nice. And a little joint and nugget. Um, I put some braces across. And then like bits where it was going to be sticking, flopping down the roof, I've just raised up a bit, put another bit of wood in. Just nice interlocking bits. I think it looks quite nice. And then the back, I've put a bit of a face here. Uh, on the end of these old roofing sheets a friend of mine gave me and a guttering which goes all along the edge and then down on a small gradient because it's quite low down at the back here into a thousand litre gallon, uh, thousand litre drum IBC container with tap on the bottom for watering the plants got the uh, gallon drum there with a the tap on which you just fill up for water for the old Belfast sink that we found in the garden we use the plants but we just took our plants out and uh, put them somewhere else and used that up and some old bricks to put stand it on an old trunk that was in the barn there we just used for standing the drum on uh, old boat table which works perfectly as a kitchen side just bang my head there <laughs> some little trinkets up in the corner like a little lantern we can put tea light in garland my wife made out of old t-shirts and stuff uh, fire bucket just in case you never know and uh, I think it looks quite nice it's all sycamore this because uh, we had some branches that came down and um, some pretty big ones actually they've all been cleaned off and uh, oiled etc probably needs a bit of a clean again but I think it looks quite nice it's a little goddess there my wife's uh, most important thing on here little green man and you can see it's got a bit of a bottle opener in there. So that's where you can have your beers open. And then we've got a little stone plinth there with the rocket stove on. You know, for making a cup of tea. When you're thirsty. Or we can use the uh, fire pit area over here. Which is a washing machine drum which we took out of the washing machine and and uh, put it on these stones, just keep it off the ground. And it uh, really does keep warm. And we've got a bit of a, a trivet as well, you know, in case you want to cook on it. I've uh, got a couple of boat tables, again. Uh, a little old chair that's someone would chip in the way. It's not very strong, but it's nice. Some of our BC there, and some logs to sit on and that, so. And uh, then there's Marigold over there. A little scarecrow down there. It's a nice day, but while I've got some time on my hands, um, I thought I'd just do another video. Keep the interest, or you know, keep people commenting on, you know, what I should do or try next, or you know, if I've inspired anyone, it'd be nice. But the old liner for a pond there, we got free. I think it leaks, but it does. my potatoes today and rather than messing about going around the supermarket to try and find beer because the pubs are shut I've been harvesting nettles this morning to make some metal beer so I'll tell you what that's like I've had it before so I know it's nice but you can never tell how good it's going to be the next time you do it <laughs> so that's a nice short video for you 
don't know if you like it or not, but hey, if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. All right, see you next one. Bye-bye.